couple of days ago, I ran into Wild Rose MLA Derek Fildebrand and we got to chat about the carbon tax, what people are doing with their rebates and what it means for the NDP going forward. Derek, what are your constituents saying about the carbon tax? Well, they think it stinks and they want it gone and they want it gone as soon as possible. And, uh, you know, it, it, there's been a, just a real grassroots, uh, overwhelming grassroots response to it. People are taking matters into their own hands, trying to help us as much as possible to, because we've committed that in the next election, we're going to scrap it lock, stock and barrel. Tell me a little bit about this carbon tax rebate. There's something kind of special cropping up that a lot of people don't know about. Yeah, my constituency, I've had uh, a lot of people spontaneously uh, come to me and say, Derek, I want to donate my carbon tax uh, rebate bribe check to the Wild Rose Party to help you guys get rid of it. I could keep this 150 bucks or whatever it is right now and enjoy that to partially offset the carbon tax, or I could donate it to the Wild Rose Party and we can make sure we just don't have a carbon tax, period. I don't have to get these bribe checks that don't even cover the full cost of it anyway. And, uh, you know, I've had a few people who I know come up to me and, and do that. And I've actually had quite a few people who I've never even heard of uh, do that. We've got a web, there's a Facebook group in Strathmore called the Strathmore, uh, begins with a B. I can't say uh, on television uh, what it is, but it's a, it's a way of expressing uh, displeasure. It's a Facebook group where people go to kind of vent. And I saw people, uh, constituents who are not even involved with the Wild Rose Party saying, I just took my carbon tax rebate and I donated it to Derek Fildebrandt's campaign and the Wild Rose Party. And my commitment to people is if they do that, we're going to take that money and we're going to make sure that it goes to defeat the NDP in 2019. And we're not just going to defeat the NDP, we're going to undo everything they're doing right now. We're going to make Alberta great again. What do you think that says about the NDP? What is the sentiment in Alberta when you see people donating their carbon tax rebates to the Wild Rose Party? Well, I know some of the people who have donated it, uh, they kind of need the money. I and mean, the carbon tax is going to hit them hard. And the, and the rebate, for the most part, is not, uh, for most people, is not going to overcome those costs, particularly if you're living in small town or rural Alberta, where you have to drive a lot more. Uh, I think it means people are invested. It means people are getting off the couch and getting involved in politics. You know, the NDP might be destroying the economy of Alberta, but they might actually be helping democracy in a, in a perverse kind of way, that they're getting people engaged, they're getting people off the couch, they're, they're getting involved. And I think people want to see a strong conservative force going into the next election. That, uh, and I'll put it in the words of Kevin O'Leary. Uh, it won't be just an election, it'll be an exorcism. The Wild Rose Party have now committed to uniting Albertans across the province before the next election, which is also the goal of Jason Kenney going forward with his leadership campaign for the Progressive Conservatives. And that's not the only thing that they agree on. Both are also against the carbon tax, so at least we know that there's one major issue that won't be an obstacle getting in the way of unification. For the Rebel.media, I'm Holly Nicholas. Thanks so much for watching. If you feel the same way I do, you know that the carbon tax is nothing but a government cash grab. Make sure to stop by StopTheCarbonTax.com to show your support in putting an end to this tax that won't do anything to significantly reduce emissions.